Hi everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Bit of a follow-up video to my clearing out of my uh, Blu-rays that I no longer want in the in the uh, collection. So I've pulled out quite a lot of stuff that I'm going to be taking to CEX. A few people did mention to me sell it on Vinted. I can't be bothered to list each individual item, so I'm just going to take it to CEX as a bulk load. But uh, the shelves are already looking a lot better. And uh, there are a lot of stuff on the shelves now that, yes, that's me. I like these films. There are still some on there that I'm not sure about. But I left those on the shelf because I, th I figured when you've got time, watch them. Then decide if you want to get rid of them. But for the ones that I just went through the shelf, I think, yeah, no, don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. I just whip them out and put them in a pile. So we'll go through what I've got in a minute. Uh, but first I'll do a quick spin round of the camera so you can have a quick look at the shelf. Okay, so it's already looking a lot better. Um, there's a lot of stuff in there that, yes, I will definitely watch. It's still a lot though. It's still a lot. So it can still be filtered down. Uh, but for the most part, I've got rid of a lot of the stuff that I had really no intention of watching. Uh, or ones that I've actually swapped around. Same with these shelves as well. I've managed to get rid of a lot. It doesn't look like I've got rid of a lot, but uh, you can see that is quite a lot there. So uh, yeah, let's go through it. Okay, so the light does fluctuate a little bit in the bedroom here because the sun is going into clouds and coming out. So if I go a bit dark and then a bit light, <laughs> Don't worry. I'm doing it in the bedroom here because there's just way too much to take into the cinema room. So it'd be easier to get through it here. Okay, so first up we have a straight story. A uh, story of about a bloke that basically rides a lawnmower across the country in America. I enjoyed the film, but I'm not going to be watching it multiple times. So I figured, get rid of it. Uh, turbulence. Uh, this is the Spanish soft copy i think you would call it um it is a pressing it is a proper pressing as you can see there so it's not a i think it's like a burn on demand maybe uh but it does have a, a, a an english sleeve uh which was done by uh richard uh and uh, but i have included the original spanish sleeve in there as well but uh, because i've got the 4k now uh i don't really need that one Uh, Isle of Dogs, watched it, yeah, it was interesting, um, enjoyable, but again, not something that I'm going to be watching uh, on multiple times. Uh, something I picked up in a charity shop, Realm of the Damned, um, it's kind of like anime, I've got no intention of watching it. I only picked it up because it was there, which is the habit I've got to get out of. Ejector, uh, some weird looking sci-fi thing that I picked up for probably about 50p. No intention of watching that. Last Breath, which came out recently. Shark film. Um, it was a bit of fun. It was okay. But if I want to put a shark film, I'm going to put on Jaws uh, or The Shallows. Or even Deep Blue Sea. Mask Maker. Um... I don't know. I really don't know. It's just a, another like Michael Myers type of thing, whether it's low budget, I don't know, but got too much else to watch. It follows. Uh, this is the original pickup that I that I got. Um, I didn't think too much of the film when it first came out. Uh, I have actually replaced it with the newer release from Second Sight, which they priced up wrong. So I'm just getting rid of the old one. Uh, there are a few in there. Oh, by the way, before we continue, uh, if there is anything in, in this pile that you would like, then I'm open to offers. So if you want to contact me on Instagram, at bigpoorly101, or contact me through Messenger, uh, or even through the Facebook group, let me know, because... Um, 
some of the items I'd rather go to the community rather than going to CEX, but let me know anyway. We can we can come up with a deal, can't we? Um, Robocop, uh, the creation of Robocop. Now, I only recently bought this. Uh, it was enjoyable. It's a double disc edition. It's the documentary. Um, I thought it was okay. I thought it was good. It was a good little insight into the, the making of Robocop, but how many times am I going to watch it? The, yeah, this this is what it comes down to. This is the kind of thing that I would have been happy watching on streaming rather than actually buying it. So, yeah, that one's going to go. I've got U571. Uh, I do own the Steelbook now on 4K, so no longer need that. The Brahms, was it Brahms The Boy 2? Not as good as the first film. Um, it was just okay. The Banana Splits film. Again, one time watch. Kind of like Five Nights at Freddy's and Willy's Wonderland. There's a lot of these giant puppet thing, puppet films, anim animatronic films coming out. Uh, Tremors, A Cold Day in Hell. Really only interested in the first film. I think I'll pick that up in a charity shop anyway. Jurassic Park Collection 3D. Jurassic Park 3D and Jurassic World 3D. Um, I do already own them separately. Uh, I only picked this up because it had a really nice slip cover with some nice gloss on it. Uh, Adam's Family, another animated film. Again, I'm more into the Pixar side to it. Um, this is okay as a like a one-time watch or a streaming watch, but I don't think I'll be picking this type of animation up again in the future. Altitude, um, it was all right. Again, one-time watch. Adam's Family 2, uh, again, a bit of the same, you know, a bit of the first. Um, yeah, one-time watch. Escobar, Paradise Lost. I must have bought this about seven years ago uh, from Powerland. I've got no real intention of watching it. Fanboys. Uh, it was a good, fun, one-time watch uh, looking at these group of misfits <laughs> trying to watch The Phantom Menace. <laughs> Uh, Escape from Pretoria was okay. That was a, it was not a bad film. Daniel Radcliffe, I think it's based on a true story. They they're in, imprisoned and they have to make a key out of soap or something or out of wood to escape. The Call of the Wild with Harrison Ford and a very bad CGI dog. Um, again, I enjoyed it, but I'm not going to watch it again. If I do, I'll watch it on streaming. Birdman with Michael Keaton. Um, I can't remember too much about this. Um, I think it was just an okay film. It is one of the limited edition with the slip covers. Punisher Warzone. Um, too much Punisher is too much. Line of Duty with Aaron Eckhart. It was okay. Bit of a police, bad boys ish type of thing. Uh, Madagascar 3. Picked this up because it was 3D and it had nice embossing on it. Uh, Proxima with Eva Green. Uh, this was an okay film. 50-50 on the language, you know, some of it on English, some of it in French. Uh, again, not something that I'd watch again. Peanut Butter Falcon uh, with Shia LaBeouf. It was a good film. Um, but again, probably, if I watch it, I'll probably watch it on streaming. Welcome to Marwen. That was a, an okay film, actually. Um, but again, it's not something that I'm going to 
crank off the shelf too often. Um, lots of like miniature figures in it and that. It's a bit of a weird story. Rush with a nice lenticular. Uh, yeah, I don't really need this. I do have the steelbook with a lenticular, so I don't really need the, the Blu-ray. No Hard Feelings uh, with Jennifer Lawrence uh, from the creators of Good Boys. I thought this was just okay. Um, I thought Jennifer Lawrence could have been a lot funnier. Operation Fortune with Jason Statham. It's just okay. I think that was a Guy Ritchie film, wasn't it? Yes, a Guy Ritchie film. Not one of his best, though. Piggy. Uh, a one-time horror film. The New Clockwork Orange. Phenomenal. Ah, oh, that's not saying much, is it? Vengeance. I can't remember anything about this, actually. Uh, we have Wonder Park. Another very kiddie animated film based, you know, in a theme park. Kung Fu Trailers of Fury. Um, is this a, some kind of documentary about Bruce Lee, I think? Probably. Afterlife with Liam Neeson. Uh, I'd rather watch Ricky Gervais' Afterlife. Super. Uh, with Rain... Is it Rain Wilson? Yeah, Rain Wilson. Um... And Ellen Page. Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. Change up. Not really any um, intention to watching that one. Uh, then we've got some of the, uh, the third window ones that I know that I'm not going to watch them. You know, they were enjoyable first time. But I'm not just going to crank these off the shelf and just watch them. So I've got... Mad Cats, uh, River, which I enjoyed, bit of a time travel thing, again, but I'm not going to watch it again, uh, the, the Zero or the One Percenter, Summertime Machine Blues, which was okay, I didn't review it, but it was okay. Sin City 2, A Dame to Kill For. I already own this on a still book. Uh, I only bought it because it had a lenticular of Jessica Alba. Taxi Driver. <laughs> um, it was okay. I know this is a highly regarded film. Um, just didn't do anything for me. First Reformed with Ethan Hawke. I think this is going to be a slow, boring, religious thing. Terminator Genesis. Uh, I already have this as a still book. Uh, I picked it up because of the exclusive HMV lenticular sleeve. By the way, some of these sleeves, some of these uh, slip covers, I've already promised to uh, Kermit's Ghost. So... Uh, if you do want the uh, the item, you might not get it with a slipcover. Uh, the Spy Who Dumped Me with Mila Kunis is okay. Forgettable. Drive Hard with John Cusack. Low budget action film. Origin Wars. I don't know why I picked it up. Probably because it says a bold and blistering sci-fi actioner. Star Wars meets Mad Max. I very much doubt it. 24 Hours to Live with um, Ethan Hawke. Um, an action thriller with a pulse. I don't know. From the producer of John Wick. I doubt it. Game Night, which was an enjoyable film. Um... One time watch. The Evil Dead Trilogy. 
um, directed by Sam Raimi, starring Bruce Campbell. The first, I found the first two Evil Deads, I didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. Um, very amateurish, and it could be because I never grew up with them. I, I prefer the remake, the new remake. I didn't even bother with Army of Darkness uh, because uh, I figured it would be pretty much more of the same. Man Down with Shia LaBeouf. Uh, it was a good post-traumatic war film, but uh, again, one-time watch. Uh, the Predator. Um, I'm, I'm seeking out the 4K for this because I realised I haven't got it on 4K. Hostiles. Uh, Christian Bale in um, a Western, but I've seen better Westerns. Missing Link, again, another very kiddified animated film. Yeah. Judas and the Black Messiah, uh, a one-time watch. The Great Wall in 3D. Uh, great visuals. Um, I actually prefer the 4K version, actually. Uh, the colours just explode, especially through an, eye, an, eye, um, an OLED. Uh, Legends of, what's it called? Legends of the Guardians, the, the Owls of Gaul or something. Um, good in 3D, uh, but again, just a one-time watch. Hancock. Uh, I do own the steel book for this, so I don't really need that version. Grand Canyon in 3D. Um, I only picked it up because it's Grand Canyon and it was 3D, but having been there myself, nothing can duplicate it on a screen. Ghostbusters answer the call. I don't need any explanation why I'm getting rid of that. Uh, Unbreakable, which is the US version. Uh, I do own the 4K, so don't need that anymore. The Truman Show. Uh, I also own a 4K, so I don't need that. The Terminator. Already got the steel book, plus there's a 4K coming out, so don't need that. Spies in Disguise. Don't think this is going to be a very good animated film. I can just tell just by the end, the look of it. The Iron Claw, really good wrestling film. I don't think I'll watch it again. Um, I can put on Rocky. I can put on the Rocky film so many times. Um, I'm more into the boxing than the wrestling, but it was a good film. Uh, it was a very emotional film as well. Caveat, okay. Again, would I watch it again? Kurt Russell in Used Cars, um, a fun film about car salesmen, uh, a bit political, but it was yeah, it was okay. Two Evil Eyes, yeah. The Meg 3D, I uh, already own a 3D still book, so don't need it. The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. Um, no, it's not. It's the, it's the new one. It's the new Haunted Mansion. Um, yeah, Eddie Murphy's the better one. Uh, I just found this okay. Dark Water. Um, oh, this is I found this at a charity. No, I didn't. I found it at a boot fair. I picked it up in a boot fair for a quid and then realised that it was selling for over £100 on eBay. <laughs> I think it's out of print. Um, I think CEX give you something like 20 quid for it. Uh, but there's only one copy being sold in any CEX around the country. Uh, and every copy that's available on eBay goes for between 80 and 100 quid. So if you want to make me an offer on this... Water for Elephants. Um, yeah. Skyfire. 
uh, okay one time disaster film. Journey's End. I'd rather watch 1917. Alfie Hopkins, again, another one I bought from CEX. Um, I don't know why. The Dyatlov Pass Incident, which I actually I did enjoy. Um, but once you've seen it once, you know what to expect. Um, where are we? Rubber. Um, yeah, the story about a killer rubber tyre. Alone. One of the best and most exciting thrillers of the year. It was all right. Nothing special. Uh, a Silence by Martin Scorsese with Liam Neeson. I don't know if I can sit through this. I, I've heard it's a really long, sluggish, boring film. Apollo 11. Kind of documentary about the Apollo moon landings, which you can see on National Geographic and every other channel. Uh, the Shape of Water, uh, which is an American import. Uh, I've already got this on a 4K steelbook, so I don't need that. Hotel Mumbai, which is the true story of an attack on Hotel Mumbai. Um, it was a good action film, a bit harrowing, but again, one time. The Pirates in an Adventure with Scientists. It was okay. It was okay. I've, I've seen a lot better. Um, again, one time. Jurassic World 3D. Again, another version I picked up because of the lenticular. The Woman in Black, Angel of Death. Uh, not a patch on the first film. And don't need to keep it just because it's called The Woman in Black. And I like the first film. A Walk Among the Tombstones, uh, moderately good Liam Neeson film, uh, but not one that I'd put on again too often. If I was going to put on a Liam Neeson film, it would probably be something like Taken. Beyond the Infinite Two Minutes was interesting. Uh, again, I didn't review this one, but I did watch it. Uh, but it's one time watch, really. And the last one is Room. Um, yeah, this was about um, a woman that had been captured and, and, and kept in a room for God knows how many years and brought up kidnapping thing. There we go. That's it. That is uh, all of the Blu-rays from here in the bedroom. Um, I will be doing a 4K one as well, getting rid of a few 4Ks, um, including the limited edition HMV. Pre, is it not the premium? It's the HMV um, first edition, I think it is, of Almost Famous. Because I realise I'm never going to watch that again. And a, a few others as well. A few others. Uh, and then probably a few still books that I'll be getting rid of as well. Got to go through the still books. But yes, that is it for the Blu-rays. So if there is anything that piques your interest in there, let me know. Send me a message and I'm sure we can work out some deal. <laughs> Fantastic. So hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share. See you on the next video very soon. Bye bye.